incredible. Helen, I mean, so your focus very much is trying to equip people with the, the skills to use the computer and research themselves. Some people might say that even if people are lacking opportunities, education, money, don't they know by now, don't we all know by now, what we should be eating, drinking, doing it by way of exercise? I think there's one thing, knowing it, um, and I would argue that not everybody does know. Um, but actually, the, the review that has come out today shows that health inequalities are the greatest for people who are poorest, who have the lowest income, who don't have work or in, in low paid work. Um, and so actually what we've got is that uh, social exclusion is exacerbating health inequalities and that's been exacerbated by digital inequalities because the opportunities to find work, um, work is a, a big indicator of, of, of health outcomes, um, that uh, you can't find work now if you're not on the internet. We also know that it's not just about those transactional things, about looking up information or booking a GP's appointment. Yeah. Actually, we find that as people learn how to use the internet, particularly in community settings like the one that Marla runs in Newham, um, that they then actually develop confidence and self-esteem, and that is then helping their health outcomes, their health and their well-being. So they want to take more control of their life. They feel empowered. And so actually, as you're saying, if they know that they should be eating better or they should be exercising more, actually they feel better about themselves and they feel better about their lives. 